when you think about you, you you also dealt with uh Kevin Gates. Yeah, nigga out here in Huntsville, Alabama. Black. Me and my motherfucking brother, breadwinner came. Yeah, he a member of the breadwinner gang. Yeah. Like what was how was that? How did you even know him? Yeah, we on boss talk one on one. Already. So so you you basically meet uh Gucci and them back in the day. How yeah. do you meet him though? How do you Gucci. Even... Um shit, man. You know, one of my relatives was going with this guy's sister. His name Wiz. Okay, Wiz was linked in with Zay. And um we went over Zay, who was in the studio, so he's like, Man, you know, I got an artist named Gucci. He's from Alabama. I want you to meet him. So he introduced me to Gucci and he was like, I'm from Bessem, Alabama, like from Huntsville. We linked in, but I wasn't rapping at that time. Okay. So we linked in on some, you know, just me just linking in with him. How old were you at this time? Huh? How old were you? Man, I was probably about 22, 23, okay. something like that. Okay. Yeah. And 22, 23 years old, cocky as hell, but real yeah. humble, but cocky. Yeah, but cocky. <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah. Didn't want to listen to nobody. Thought I had my own money. <laughs> Ain't that the way rap we money think? went nothing. I thought rap money was funny. I used to laugh at rappers and shit. So, so th when you was around him though, that during that time, that was before the, uh, uh, that was before Walker and him. But yeah, during, Walker. but did you even deal with him during the time he was dealing with Walker Flock? Well, when he got with Walker, that's when he had the issue with Cat, I guess. And then you know, yeah. Miss Deb came in, and Miss Deb really didn't know me like that. I linked in with him a couple of times, but it really was like he was jumping into another phase of his life. So you know, you right. had to let a nigga move on when they moving on. When they, they moving life. on, yeah, you yeah. Know what real talk. So yeah, shout out to Goo, bro. We we straight, but he had to move on and make his next journey in his life for his career. When when you think about you, you you also dealt with uh, Kevin Gates. Yeah, nigga. Out here in Huntsville, Alabama. Black. Me and my motherfucking brother, breadwinner came. Yeah, he a member of the breadwinner gang. Yeah. Like, what was, how was that? How did you even know him? Like, are y'all, he's not, he's from uh, Baton Rouge. That's why yeah. I asked you that. Remember I asked you that? Yeah, yeah. I'm like, yeah. so how did you even link with, with, with Kevin Gates? Well, you know, Gates, man, you know, I seen him, um, I think we was out at Onyx. He was with Draco. I think okay. he was with Draco and Mozzie or something. And, you know, he was just like, man, you look like a rapper. You look like, you know, my brother and shit. He started saying that. So when we linked up, I had got a feature for somebody, one of my artists. The artist was lazy. He was like, man, you need okay. to just cut it and just start rapping yourself. So he was like, boom, we're going to do it like this. Boom. I'm like, what BWA mean? He's like, woo, woo. I'm like, I'm about to get it on my neck. I'm going to push it like the Sue Whoop movement. You know, That's I push that real, I push that line real hard so everybody know that. So when I start pushing it, the whole state of Alabama, I had California, you know, I say I got Tennessee. I got a lot of people that push behind me. So once that happened, he's like, damn, like, man, everybody know you everywhere. Well, I'm like, yeah. So we just start pushing that. We did the video. Gage did the Why She Talking video for me. Oh, damn. Drop that single. It was on World Star. I think it did. Yeah, it did. Like yeah, One point six million views that was on that good. thing. I like it. So yeah, salute to Gates, man. It's all love over there. But you can tell you was younger too. I was like, yeah, I was a lot younger. I was a lot. I was a lot younger then. You know, <laughs> thank it. You know. That's hard though, like to have that in your history and to have that in your, you know, your arsenal when you look back. Yeah. That was a hard, that's a hard man, way to come in the game, man. Coming in with Gates, <laughs> man. That's a I told him Dolph ain't never dead. I'm in the booth, he right here with me. Disrespect me, I'ma dive off in your ditches like your dinner. Oh man. When I seen yeah. that, it was I was like, this done deal. I gotta talk to this nigga. Yeah, and, and I went and looked at a couple of your interviews and I was like, that's a real one, man. I like to link with him because I can look at the way people are, man. I love my people. That that without a shadow of a doubt. But just seemed like you was a genuine person just from seeing your move. So yeah. I mean, and then Zay told me that that nailed mm -hmm. it too. Yeah, like because I'm like this and for him so to deal with him. It's yeah. like I know the nigga got to be cool. You man, know, what I'm saying? thinking about it. You know, I was just looking at when I posted my um my press release of uh, signing partnership with uh, TSF. So I was looking at my Instagram right before I walked in. Okay. I see Zay re reposted that thing. So salute to Zay and for me territory. It. You know, we working this summer and it's, and it's coming, it's going down. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101.